Oh boy. Yeah. Look at you. Look at you. Huh? I hope everybody can see you. Look at you, how cute you are. You are just so cute. Oh my gosh. What a face. What a little face. Hi everyone. Gotta wait until some more folks come on. Hello everyone. I'm here with a new little girl that come in today. Her name is Ducky, they call her. He is so sweet. What a cute little face. I hope you all get a good picture of her face there. She is just cuter than a bug's ear. Yeah, she was getting picked on. Showed up in the yard. Some folks had tied her up and, and kept her until it got a hold of us so that they could keep her safe because she'd get picked on by some other pups. And uh, just a little cutie thing. Did you are. Can we get a picture of you right there? And can you see yourself in the camera? Uh, so I just want to say thank you to everyone for your kind thoughts and prayers and uh, <clears throat> the loss of my father and Quilly, uh, the, the pup that we brought up here at Turtle Mountain Animal Rescue. So um, she had a good life, but short and it's tough. But this little one here came in. Shannon went and got her today, and it was Shannon's day off, but Shannon still went and got her, and I was here when I saw them bring her in, and just so cute. Oh, you're so cute, aren't you? Teething a little, huh? I think she's probably about two or three, three months probably old, and a uh, little teething going on, little teeny weeny teethers. Can you sit up and say hi in the video? Can you? Come on, sweetie. Can you say hi? What do we got, a squeaker? Ooh, what's that? You didn't even know it did that, did you? You didn't even know it did that. Not gonna face the camera. Pretty busy playing and being a little pupper. But so cute, what a cute face. Gonna be a little cutie and you're not gonna be super big. The feet show probably gonna be around 30, maybe 35 pound dog. Um, you know, that is a, just an estimate, but that's what I'm thinking perfect when you get through with your quarantine here to be a, a flight angels candidate if anyone around the country but i um, not sure how much she weighs I'm sure it will come on quick but I think it'd be candidate at this point but you still got a few weeks that you've got to be here to make sure you're all okay and healthy not quite sure where she came from um, folks just said she wandered into the yard has to have some siblings out there somewhere, but uh, boy, what a cutie. What a cute little face. Not quite sure what breed, but uh, cuter than a bug's ear. So, yeah, came up and had dinner with Keith and Wanda. Um, Keith made lasagna and Wanda made her famous soup. And it was delicious, so now I'm all fat and happy. And... Uh, Doing the video with puppy time, which we always love. Oh, yeah, you're teething. You got some Sharpies, don't you? You got some little Sharpies. How about we do this instead of my thumb? Yeah. How come we do that instead of my thumb? Usually I have the camera on a <clears throat> tripod. But there's really no place to hang it in these littler kennels that we have. This is a real small kennel. Uh, it's one of our steel kennels at the end of the rescue. And there's really no place to hang the camera. Um, so... I'm holding it, so I hope I'm not too shaky for all of you, but definitely want you to see this baby because she is cute, man. And the little blue collar just looks so good on you, even though that's a boy's collar, kind of. Doesn't really have to be, but boy, that's a cute color on her. And uh, <laughs> it is cute. It is cute. Yes, you are. I hope I got the phone held right. <clears throat> Sitting in these <clears throat> little or kennels, it's... <clears throat> almost as big as we are so there's not a whole lot of room boy you've got some sharp sharp teeth we got to stay on here and not me yes you do and you want to clamp down on my thumb yes you do you want to clamp down on my thumb oh you like playing tug of war you like playing tug of war oh you could be a playful little pup yeah this this little puppy makes someone a good house companion yes you will looks real healthy seems real healthy didn't have any ticks. Um, we've been really paying attention to the ticks and 
and uh, all that on them. And I noticed earlier Keith had messaged Shannon, was there any ticks? And Shannon said no. So if she was running around outside for a long period of time, she did a good job of evading the ticks because they're thick as thieves this year. And, uh, yeah, let's hope that that stays that way. So make sure everyone out there, because the ticks are bad this year, that we're getting them all their meds for ticks and keep them ticks down because losing Quilly was heartbreaking. And I hope nobody else has to go through that for that reason alone. Um, Quilly was too young. I've had many dogs in my life and <clears throat> put them down when they get a little older and it's a little bit more humane and it's really tough to put down a, a young and, and uh, Quilly was a fighter. She didn't really want to show that she was hurting until the very end. Um, but uh, it was pretty tough. And <clears throat> she's been my, been my uh, co-pilot. She'd sit in the front seat and never lay down. Fall asleep while we were driving, you know, sit in position and then pop out of it. But for nine hours, she would sit in that passenger seat. And I really missed that coming back. So I'm going to take a female down the hill, someone for, for Teddy to run with. Rob is getting a little older, and Rob's not real actively a runner anyway, and Teddy misses Quilly. So we're going to take on a female that needs some videos and needs some attention, and uh, we can nurture one down there. So Teddy's got someone to play with. So that'll happen here hopefully in the next week or so. But I just got back from being gone for a while, so there's lots of stuff to do. Um, we've got a whole bunch of projects we want to tackle and never enough time in the day. And then tonight it got down to 46 degrees. It might even be cooler now, but it's like, holy moly, I thought we were done with that. So it's chilly out again. So, and that just reminds us that if your dog is outside, remember that it's a little colder and, uh, and make sure you pay attention to them and keep an eye on them. Um, <clears throat> But anyhow, yeah, you are just a little teether, huh? Can we get you to settle down for two seconds over here so I can get everybody to see the picture? <laughs> just really, really, you can tell, teething like crazy, uh, keeping those teeth active. <laughs> you need a toy, not my arm. You need a toy, not my arm, yes? The more I'm letting you do it, the tighter you're biting down. <laughs> you little stinker. Ow, ow, <laughs> here, ow, ow. Does that work like Keith does? Ow! Ow! No, not really. You're not too worried about me. Not too worried because you don't understand yet, huh, do you? Little stinker. Okay, you want to wrestle? We'll wrestle. You want to wrestle? We'll wrestle. Boy, this little one is just going to be a little heartbreaker. Yes, you are. You're so cute. Uh, really good demeanor so far, if we can tell. Um, again, as I say, it's teething, but... Really, it's just a nice little pup. Hasn't cried or whined being in the kennel by herself. We never know the predicament that they were in before, but because she wasn't so super full of ticks, I don't think she spent a whole lot of time outside by herself, but you just never know. But, uh, yeah, you're going to be a little sweetheart. Yes, oh, likes the belly wobs. Loves them belly wobs. Yes, oh, yeah, you can tell by the demeanor what a good little dog you're going to be. Yeah, what a good little puppy you're going to be. Someone's going to fall in love with you. Yes, that little face is just to die for. What a cutie. You're just so cute. You're so cute. But if I do that, you can't get to me. <laughs> you can't get to me. You can't. You can't. You want to, though. Doesn't want nothing to do with the toy. Wants to chew on me. Yeah, doesn't want to do nothing with the toy. You want to just chew on me, don't you? I got no strings in this vet, in this sweatshirt, so you can't put on the strings. But, boy, teething like crazy. Look at that, just going crazy. Ow! Owie! Ow! Ow! <laughs> it doesn't really hurt, but try and teach him not to bite. And uh, just coming in today, we don't want to do too much discipline and scare her. But she has a great little personality. Um, I think this one's going to be just super fine. You're going to have a good life, little sweetie. Yeah, luckily she made it to the doors of Timar, and that's a huge thing all by itself. Once they make it here, they do pretty dang good. So, um, 
So yeah, definitely keep an eye on her. I bet she'll get adopted pretty quick. You're just such a sweet little thing. And what a good demeanor. Um, happy, playful, healthy. Yeah, you are. And sharp little teethers. Sharp little teethers. So yeah, we got a little bit of work done uh keith and i ran and brought the bobcat to devil's lake or our new tractor to devil's lake yesterday it's getting the backhoe put on it and uh we had a couple little thought patterns on some oil uh, things with it so we're just having it over double checked for good measure and then meanwhile boys have been cutting wood so they've been moving wood like crazy stacking it and getting it all ready to dry out for next season and uh yeah just lots of projects so i've been meaning to bring the bobcat back down the hill um for the last couple of days but it's just been one thing after another so uh, we'll get it down there this weekend and start working on our food trailer and uh, and then i'll do a walk around sometime next week with robert you guys will get to see the improvements and the things that have been happening on the new building boys have been working really hard they got the almost the whole ceiling inside done they got the outside external cat rooms all done they're sheetrocked they're mudded uh, by this time next week they'll be painted uh, and then we can start actually storing some things that belong to the cat rooms we've got a whole bunch of kennels that we bought back in the day when we bought the kennels for that pretty cat room you see on video once in a while we bought extras so we're going to store all those in the finished rooms and then we will have room to start expanding again. Um, got to get our septic system in down there. So we've got like 85% of our septic materials that we bought a couple years ago uh, for that up here. Get that all moved down. Can get that started. And then hopefully get started on this floor. Um, our pipe fitter plumber uh, that we work with, Pepper Walsh, um, prayers out for him he uh got pneumonia and ended up in the hospital so we're hoping that he's gonna pull through and do okay um as we all get older pneumonia gets even worse to deal with and he's got it pretty bad so i'm hoping pepper does good and comes back out of that so prayers for you pepper um and uh yeah so just trying to get to the evolution of start doing the floor in that in the building and we've come to the uh to the uh, to knowing that we're if we can get the floor done by the end of summer we're going to be doing good i mean we want to get it all done but uh time cost uh the covid epidemic a couple years ago and you know just good people to do the good jobs everything's taking a lot longer than we wanted to but we'll get through it and uh and then at the same time got to keep this working up here uh, Keith and the crew up here work frivolously every day to keep things moving forward up here. And, uh, you know, it's like a lot of things. We come to the realization that we're going to be up here for a little bit longer. So we got to keep improving and keeping things going up here, even though we know someday everything's going to get moved down there. You can't cut corners, not for these pups and all the animals and cats and everything that we have here so you gotta keep on it and they are and uh so it's just there's always stuff to do always tons of stuff to do can you say hi can you oh boy you're gonna find my beard are you gonna find my beard huh yeah <laughs> so cute i wish I, we could get a really good picture but like all little puppies they're just on the move every second so it's pretty tough to get them to sit still. <laughs> even if I hold you firmly, you just don't want to sit still for even 2.3 seconds, do you? No, I want to bite. Yeah, and you got some chompers on you. You got a pretty healthy bite for being your age. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. No, we can't have the beard. We can't have the beard. We can't. Yep, nonstop movement. Just go, go, go. And uh, But for being here, only a few hours. Very quiet, very good demeanor, very happy. Oh, I do have a string on this one, and you found it. I didn't know I had a string. Oh, really? Really? You don't like being held all, hold, hold, you don't let you go, huh? You got things to do, people to see. You got to get moving, don't you? <laughs>
like, oh, well, what? 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 That's just like me yelling at you for biting me, right? No drink. No drink of water. Just super cute. Wow. Super duper cute. You are. You are so cute. I'm going to go for my thumb. You almost turned the phone off. You almost turned the phone off there, Stinker. Sorry to make you dizzy moving my phone around too much, but I'm trying to keep her in view for you all. So, again, thank you all very much uh, for everything you do. Um, and it's uh, all comes back to these kind of animals that are being saved and being taken out of the environment and getting some meds and getting ready for adoption, fostering, whatever you may have. Um, you all make that happen out there, and we appreciate each and every one of you. And, uh, and we'll keep moving forward to, uh, to keep making sure that they're healthy and happy and not out running around. You got some claws on you. Oh, owie. Ow, ow, ow. Ow. <laughs> you heard it that time, didn't you? Wow. Not only sharp, but God actually got a, quite the strength on the bite. Yeah. You got a good bite on you, Stinker. You do. Boy, just so pretty. You are so pretty. Can we get that hind leg to go? Can we get that hind leg to go? Can we, can we, can we? <laughs> just all teeth. All teeth and mouth. All teeth and mouth. So, anyway, we had a good dinner. I'm all fat and happy. You had a good dinner. You're all fat and happy. So, we're going to say goodbye for tonight. Everyone have a good evening. Uh, we're praying for the sun to come out and it to get a little warmer. Because it's chilly here. And we've had enough of that chilly stuff. So, anyway, this one says thanks. And all have a good night. And remember, be nice to each other. Thanks all.